Hey guys, you see what's going on? Something is erect additionally to what was I've been showing you previously. So welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead and here is how the very initial version of the small tower for the wind turbine looks like. It This one is going to be foldable, but eventually the setup is not finished and it's not direct fully because there are a couple of mistakes let me tell you which ones so the guys are actually fixing them right now and the mistakes are this thing is too short it has to be at least twice maybe 2.5 times longer to reduce the load on the uh on the winch and this hand winch is not good at all I mean, it is designed to bear uh, 1.6 tons of load, however, it will be like very hard for it to do this. So basically, I will be just like changing this one to an electrical one. The main problem with this one, like, I mean, this one will be okay for, I don't know, kind of a boat, maybe, if you have the boat on a uh, special wheel. But yeah, this one has a problem because it has a very thin very thin uh, like like this uh, very thin pole where all this cable is getting uh, wrapped over and the trouble is that once you apply really heavy load and this one and this thing weighs this thing i mean this piece uh, it's it's about 100 kilos probably may, maybe a little bit less maybe maybe 85 something like this uh, and well once you apply a real force the problem is that it really gets tightened so much and, and it cannot like you, you cannot un unwind it later that's the main problem so eventually that it has to be just like longer and thicker and to have a much better uh surface for the cable to, to get into so that's that's the trouble and that's why i will be changing the winch uh, eventually that's the only way to go i want to use one winch for all the four towers that will have to foldable so this one that one is still missing it is going to be mounted next week probably this one is going to be redone to be foldable at this place it will be folding down and of course i will make it higher it'll be higher uh probably two meters higher and over there are just like over there those three there will be one more tower for a bigger wind turbine that is going to arrive very very soon but take a look i decided since i have one two three four places to mount smaller wind turbines i decided to go all in and to mount everything that rotates uh the only thing that is missing right now here is the small vertical one you have seen it my in, in my previous videos i decided to just like to give it a second chance and i don't know i mean i don't care i could have cut this pipe like here but let's let, let, let's let stay it like two two meters atop and let, let it rotate and it'll produce whatever whatever it can because every watt counts uh, specifically for this winter and as you may see this generator is already mounted on something very very different because previously it was put here or oh, no sorry it was put on s3 so like this is this is the, the s3 that one that was most modified and i restored it to the, its initial original view so it has now like it's very um, small default generator which is probably going to output maybe 40 watts max not more I don't have time now to to change the generator i will just leave it as it is this is the m3 default i mean this is the uh, this is just like the additional flange that is going to be uh used only like to connect to that to that ending point uh of, of, the, of the tower because this one is my self-made first wind turbine like i'm welding for the very second time in 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 my life at all and basically what i did i just added a five box bearing um, just like created some kind of a tube and some kind of uh, holes, you added a slip ring and that's it. And basically you don't need anything else. And like I made the tail uh, as long as it should be, not like they are doing here because like this is the length that it should be and this is the length that they do from the factory. And this 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 one is going to have problems once uh, I will mount, for example, the default factory wing will be rotating uh, over I mean, it will be like spinning around around the vertical uh, axle, 
too much. Uh, but the problem is now that I have only two wind wheels. This one is 5 blader, 1.3 meters in diameter, and this one is the full 4M3 actually for this one. But I already figured out that this one will work the best with this generator. So what I'm going to do, I will connect these two and these two together. And I really wonder if this pair is going to work as it should, because the problem is there might be not enough uh, torque to start at like lower wind speed. So, but we'll see that. We'll just have to mount it and we'll check once uh, it starts rotating and we'll fix that number and who knows maybe i will just like get another blade and hub like this this one is missing a cone a cone is like in the box still but uh, as i told you you can buy a set of blades hub plus cone plus all the um, connections uh, for for how much 87 dollars 15 cents that's the price that i'm getting today but uh starting June 1st they have some kind of promotion happening and I bet I will be able to get it like 15 bucks less so let's see uh, I actually think that I'll go this way because uh, I like as I told you I think that this pair may not work efficiently enough so eventually this one will get this blade maybe in three maybe in five I don't know because like th these hops are absolutely like okay blades can be switchable whatever way uh, no issues, so maybe I will use it. It's just because it is 1.3 and has like this nice bend uh, element, and this one is not really that good for for this slow start. Maybe this one will be producing a little bit more with with with, with even with this shitty generator that it has inside. Uh, but le let's see. Like we'll, we we will have some time to basically play around with it, and like the next week. I believe is going to be very very interesting. The only thing that my self-made uh, generator is missing, it has to be like, of course, it has to be painted. I mean, and it has to be connected, like the connection, the the the. Uh, I don't know which one will I use uh, yet, but uh, and, and and also small cover, small cover. Uh, these these all things, these everything. This is leftovers. Uh, these are all lefties, so to say. So it costs me basically and literally nothing so the gen was 90 bucks if you remind remember from my older videos this one this bearing uh price was 530 i think uh this thing you can get i mean this one is originally from the from from this wind turbine so let, let's not like forget it but uh, if if i'm buying a new one which i likely will do uh this one will be i expect it to get for around 65 70 dollars but i will i will update you and i will let you know how much exactly will it cost so yeah that's the total price a couple of electrodes uh, and that's it that's i mean and the paint of course and a couple of nuts additional that and and, 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 that, and that's it like that's the generator and, and everything you need for it um lucky thing is that the distance between these holes is actually fully matching this mountain uh, distances which are on this one and on its sister that is going to be put over there it's literally same so no issues with that it will mount there perfectly um yeah we just have to figure out uh, how long how how much longer this one has to be probably like this and then uh, we'll have to adjust the winch and that will be it because right now i mean it, it's steady it's anchored we use the chemical anchors for it like it was drilled uh 30 35 centimeters down and like the chemical anchor will be holding it like crazy i don't worry about that because all this stuff is going to be again like you see it's connected fully to that one and and, and this one is is it's weld uh, to the other structure and of course these smaller things they will also be getting here because like i mean i have the grapes here i have to have them placed to to connect at, at some point i mean you see how they have grown nicely since may 14th and it's like only two weeks after the frost wear and it's really crazy how quickly and fast they grow like this is i mean would you believe that this has grown in two weeks like the the the, the, the this thing two weeks only that's the speed of nature, right? Absolutely crazy. So we need to finish this as fast as possible, like next week. 
is the latest, uh, but uh, likely tomorrow the uh, this thing will be already redone, and uh, we will see. We will see. First, first test will be. I will try, as I told you, I will try the M3 with this five blader, and we'll see if it works. I bet it won't. So I will have to get the additional 1.65 blades, uh, three blader hub. That's that's it. So that's a short update for today. Um, like and subscribe because there will be a lot to see a lot to see i mean in action action is something that is really interesting because everything before now is a preparations and tests for preparations but in general i suspect uh that all those four i mean one two over oh, there two and then this one three and this one four all those four combined they'll be giving roughly one kilowatt of power um at, at peak it may be more actually i think but roughly it will be one kilowatt of power consider this one is also one kilowatt wind turbine and they will compete who will be producing more and then they will compete uh, all together if all the grapes house will produce more than that one that is going to be the two kilowatt wind turbine i will update you on that constantly so like and subscribe not to miss all those future videos um, yeah, and see you later. Thanks. Bye.